He's away on the run then. <laughs> I've also never heard that saying. He's away on the run then. I've heard that people being called one can then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which is, eh, uh, like, if somebody was to call you a one can then. I don't, again, I don't know where it comes from, but it basically just means you're a lightweight and can't handle your drink. <laughs> Hello, troops. I know what you're thinking. You may be thinking, hey, what's this? This is different. This game is called Humans Fall Flat, and I know it's a game. I think, to be honest, I think you should probably play it with people. See, because you just die. <laughs> but then he just fall back onto the level, so it's fine. And I probably do need people to play this way, but I don't care the now because today's video. It's genuinely just gonna be me, um, eh, but today is a wee Christmas video. A wee video, if I'm honest, if I'm honest, is to say thank you to everybody who has taken time to watch my videos, comment on videos, like my videos, just anyone who's taken the time to come across my channel. And you know what, I'm even gonna thank the people that have decided to comment on videos that they're not happy with or because as I said to my family like maybe not everyone's happy with my videos but they've gave me a view so that's all I care about <laughs> well I'd prefer if they subscribed but you know we can't win them all man <laughs> so yeah this video is basically just to thank people for taking the time out of their day to watch little old thumbs and ace of space gaming then i'm really thankful for each and every single one of these i don't know if you know like i know people have a uh, like people celebrate different milestones and stuff but and i only have 72 subscribers as we speak but outside of that subscribers no 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 Outside of the, the subscribers, I now have over 10,000 views on the channel as a whole. And I don't know if that's something, I don't know if views are something that gets uh, oh, uh, celebrated. But I think it's, in, in my books, is a huge achievement. I, know, I don't know, I know you, milestones are normally for subscribers and all that. But honestly, I just wanted to celebrate that because it is a milestone. 10,000 views! My videos have been viewed 10,000 times. Like, that's mad. That's fucking. <laughs> I've jammed it. <laughs> I'm playing this game because it's wintery. That's the only reason I'm here. But I, yeah, that is, that, is a, that is mad to think that 10,000. Or like, it might not be 10,000 people, but along the road, my videos have been viewed 10,000 times, so no matter what, I'm celebrating that milestone. And hey, yeah, I just want to thank anybody and everybody that's taking time out of their day. And you know how I'm going to thank you? We're walking off a cliff in this game, not in real life. <laughs> but I want to thank you by actually doing a wee thing. Please. No, I'm not gonna lie. Well, I'm gonna put this game in, but I'm also gonna put in some bits of Minecraft as well, just to kind of show you how I have been doing in my Minecraft world since I've been playing some Not Cabot. Uh, I want to actually do a quiz for you guys. Oh, oh. Because honestly, sometimes I genuinely forget that uh, there's gonna be people out there that might not know, know what I'm saying. That sometimes as Scots are not always easy to understand, you know? And it's just, I don't know, sometimes I'll say a word and then for, for the life of me, I kind of think of what I know, but like I'll, I'll say something and then I'll be editing that video. Oh, the nice music's kicked in. <laughs> But I'll be editing that video, and uh, 
I'll say I'll say something and I'll be like, hey, they might not know what I'm saying. Like they might not know what I'm talking about. So I kind of just, I guess I wanted to do a Scottish quiz on words. They're not even really words that I say not all the time anyway. But I don't know. I guess I don't know. I just wanted to let you in a little bit on how Scotland works. <laughs> Not how Scotland works, but how I work. <laughs> okay, so we are actually, we're going to start off with a quiz. Uh, I change views for a second. And here we go. This might be places where I like, <laughs> go back to Minecraft. So there's this wee quiz. It's a uh, Scottish sayings, words and phrases. I just wanted to do it. So, first question! In Scotland, if someone says, I'm completely scunnered today, what does it mean? To me, I don't even know if I'm gonna get these right, by the way, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm not 100% Scottish. Because I, I don't know. Because I don't, I feel like some of the words, they don't, they don't sound like what you're trying to say, so... Yeah, it might not make sense. I don't, I never make much sense. You should be used to this. I've had the channel for over a year and a half, so you should, if you don't know now, <laughs> if you don't know now, you know, right? So if I was to say I'm completely scunnered, I would say that it means I'm fed up. Obviously, they, I'm not, we'll see if I'm right. <laughs> In Scotland, if someone says, oh, what are you gawping at? <laughs> what are you gawping at? Uh, it means staring mouth opened. Staring open mouthed. Like gawping is just like staring. Although I always thought it was gawking. Or are you gawking at? Maybe it is gawping at. And I'm just thinking of cyberpunk. <laughs> uh, number three. In Scotland, if someone says, I got some new sparkling shiny wallies the other day, and I am sp smiling there, <laughs> what does that mean? No, I want you to have a guess. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. I'm just going to talk crap. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to go through do you th uh, to go through the four options. What do you think wallies are? Do you think they're diamonds, shoes, false teeth, or spectacles? No, as a nation, we're a bit weird. There's no denying it. And I remember I saw that word and I genuinely didn't know what it meant. Because I saw this word a while ago and I had to ask my man that and I was like, what does that word mean? So I already know what this is. But to me, I genuinely thought it was like a pair of wellies. You know, like rain shoes. I don't know what you call wellies. If they're called wellies universally. <laughs> I already know the answer. But I'm going to go for shoes. Because that's what I thought it was. And then you learn at the end what wallies really are. And you may be surprised. So let me know what you think it is. And also, you know, I mean, if you have hopefully s stayed at them enough for you to make your own mind up. Like, if you want to play along, then feel free. Let me know what you put your answers as in the comments below. If you want to join in. <laughs> Number four. In Scotland, if someone says that man was fairly gone going his dinger the other day, what does that mean? What? That man was fairly going his dinner? Dinger? I've never heard that phrase in my whole fucking life. Fake Scott, move over here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm talking about me on the fucking website. Uh, fairly going his dinger. I'm going to say he was losing his tempo. Never heard that phrase in my life, but Scottish people don't run races. <laughs> None of the Scottish people I do, I know anyway. <laughs> when visiting someone in Scotland and they say, you're at your auntie's house. You are at your auntie's house. What does this mean? Oh, I know what this means. You're at your auntie's house though. <laughs> but my aunties always say that anyway. <laughs> Do all the homework to save your old Danny from doing it. Housework. Fuck, I was like, why is your auntie doing a homework? I can't, I've not got my specs on. <laughs> but, yeah, it doesn't mean that. It means you've got amnesia or had one too many drinks, <laughs> as those Scots normally do. 
I don't know, have you ever heard about that time a couple of years ago we out, uh, out drank the country of vodka? That was a good time. <laughs> like, we literally had no vodka left in the country, apparently. It was great. It was a great moment. I like to think I was part of that. <laughs> but, to me, that would mean make yourself comfortable, comfortable, relax, and read the cookie tin. Although my auntie's always got shite biscuits. <laughs> Kidding. Although, also, on another side note, we'll go back to this now because I want to talk about that. It's something that's kind of <clears throat> annoyed me. No annoyed me, but but like it's, it's gotten to me early years. Is Americans, right, they call... What do they call a biscuit? Like, to them, is a biscuit not like a croissant or something? Or like a pastry? To, to Scotland, a croissant. Oh, well, I've, I've never been able to say that. <laughs> but they fucking... Or like a bear claw. I don't know what you eat. <laughs> but that is... That's a pastry to us. That's a pastry to me, you know that. And a biscuit to us is like a digestive. Or like a half-covered. Which is a digestive. You just call it a half-covered. Because, well, it's half covered in chocolate. You know, we're a very simple people. <laughs> we're a very simple kind. But yeah, that's what a biscuit is to us. It's something you dip in your tea, you know. When you go to your auntie's house, you go to the biscuit tin and you steal all the biscuits. That's what that is. But I don't know, it's, it's something I've always kind of wanted to address because I've always, it's always confused me how in America they're like, oh, you want a biscuit? And they walk out with like a pastry and I'm like, hmm, hmm. I've never met an American. Well, I've met Americans, that's a damn lie. <laughs> but I've never been at Americans' house. I've never been to America. So I, I don't, I've never been offered a croissant from an American. <laughs> it's fucking stupid, I don't know. I'm going to go back to the quiz. Alright, number six. In Scotland, if someone says that when playing in our garden belongs to the lady across the street, it needs to go home now. But let me let me rephrase that first, because first off, nobody would say that. Nobody I know would say that. And nobody means nobody, obviously. The sentence where I'm fae, anyway, would be, that when playing in our garden belongs to that woman across the road, it needs to go him the new. That's what the sentence would actually be. And it just roughly translates to that. <laughs> but that when is actually a child. I don't know why. But we do not call children children children. For some reason we call them wins. Don't know where that came from. But honestly it's just easier. Like at wins annoying. At wins den man nothing. The sentences mean the exact same thing. So you know. <laughs> Number seven. What did you think when meant? Because obviously Scotland has wild yaks. <laughs> I didn't even saw that answer. That yak is in our fucking garden again. Get that out. <laughs> I hate it when a yak just suddenly walks into the garden and just eats all your fucking grass, man. Like, I don't know what do yaks eat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, the most annoying thing we have is like sheep. Even then, they don't wander from their farms. <laughs> we don't have yaks quiz. Yaks. <laughs> Imagine we had yaks, man. We'd be a powerful nation if we had some yaks. <laughs> Number seven. If in Scotland, and one asks a person what they are going for this year's annual vacation. Wait, where they are? I was rubbing my eyes, sorry. Where they are going for this year's annual vacation or holiday, and they reply, Oh, it's Hamel Demi this year! <laughs> <laughs> Where is Hamel Demi? Now, if you're no Scottish, I really want you to have a guess at what Hamel Demi means. Uh, to me, it's self explanatory because obviously I'm Scottish and I use it all the time, like, oh, Hamel Demi. <laughs> So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes, I'm gonna let you kind of see if you can figure out what that means, or just see what you think it means. It is a doozy. I do like that word, Hemo Demi. It's a good one. Right, so I, obviously I know what it means, so... Okay. I'm gonna pick my answer, and it will be nowhere. 
<laughs> I don't know, for some odd reason we can't say O's. We just say, we replace them with A. So instead of nowhere, it's nowhere. Instead of home, it's him. I don't know. Like, it's him all day, mate. So as I said, we don't say O's, we, do, we say A. So it's like home, him, will, is the L. And day, like do, and me. Like, so home will do me. <laughs> so you're not going anywhere. You're going fuck hell for Christmas. What? You're not getting a holiday that year, basically. <laughs> I don't know. As we're a weird nation, right? Do you got any slang you see? Anything weird? Because <laughs> we have laws. <laughs> Number eight. If you're ever in Scotland and you hear someone say, he's away on the randan. <laughs> Having a boat ride from Oban to the Isle of Mull. <laughs> I've also never heard that saying. He's away on the run then. I'm just gonna make a guess. Cause obviously, like, man, I don't know if you know. I'll go back to this. I don't know if you know, but honestly, it's, we're a very diverse nation. People are constantly saying things that are British. And I've said that once, I've said it a million times. They always mean English. They never, ever, ever mean Scottish, Irish, or Welsh. Because let's be honest, we're all part of Britain, whether we like it or not. Which most of us don't. But there are so there's such a wide variety in accents. In Scotland alone, never mind the whole of Britain. Honestly, like I don't understand people from Dundee and that's only a couple of hours away from where I live in Glasgow, so it's just it's crazy how <laughs> We're such a small island, but there's so many different accents that accompany that fucking small island. Like, honestly. And don't even get me started on the Liverpool accent. I do not understand Liverpudlians. And I apologise if you're from Liverpool and you're watching this. I just don't understand you. I'm sorry. I try my best. I mean, people probably don't understand me, so... You don't need to apologise. I'm not apologizing. I know I did, but I don't mean it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I do. I do. Now we're gonna move back on. I have to do some quiz. Oh, he's away on the run then. Oh, I. Okay. Eh. Uh, I'm gonna weekend stay in a man. He's gonna a mental, mental institution. He's away on an open bus in Edinburgh. I'm gonna say having a wild but sociable night out on the town. I don't even know the run then. I've heard of people being called one can then. <laughs> okay, <laughs> which is uh, like if somebody was to call you a one can then I don't again I don't know where it comes from but it basically just means you're a lightweight and can't handle your drink, <laughs> which is very rare in Scotland. Kidding, I know a good few people that can't uh, handle their alcohol. I was gonna say myself included, but I can fairly put it away, man. <laughs> and that just means I can drink a lot. Right, number nine, second last question on the quiz. If you hear someone from Scotland say, I'm spewing feathers, what does that mean? I've never heard that any uh, either, to be honest. But I'm going to say thirsty. It means you swallowed a feather, darling. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, feathers are dry. So, I can only assume. And last question, number ten. If you are in the presence of a Scottish person and they say you've got more degrees than a thermometer <laughs> what did it mean? <laughs> well, what do you think it means? Ah, oh, that's, that's crazy because use like use as if I've just got an American fucking people I don't know if this is just Americans or like all of the world except from Scotland but a lot of people use Fahrenheit so this is, yeah, you know what a thermometer is though, you're not that crazy. But basically, they're just, they're, they're saying you're smart. You know, you got more degrees than a thermometer, so you, it means you got a high fever, it means you're fucking thick. <laughs> no, it means you're very clever. Now I'm gonna submit my answers, and I want to know, I want you to put your answers in the comments right now before we find out how I done. And then we can see how you done. And then you can let me know how you done. Let me know how many you got right. Oh, okay, so it's just going individually what I got right. Alright, so means you're scunnered, means you're fed up. I got that right. <laughs> oh, oh, I give you explanations. 
This word is much used in Scotland it is to be is to be negative about something. Feeling sleepy, starving or cold could result in feeling scunnered, but not necessarily. But I just being scunnered means you're annoyed. And pure scunnered with the way she acted earlier. Air there. Over there. We just shortened everything down. <laughs> I just thought I might as well explain myself whilst I'm here, right? Uh, what are you gawping at means you're staring, you're fucking in at a trance. I had a kid and I don't know. And I got this ring. Well, how many of you thought that Wally's meant false teeth? Because I'll tell you, I was, I was a bit shocked to find out that it meant false teeth. I would have thought it was a, bun a pair of wellies. But no, there's false teeth trips. Get your wellies out. <laughs> so there you go. Now you know what wellies means. Uh, he's dinger, losing his temper. Okay, I've never heard that sentence. I've never used it. Must be a different part of Scotland. <laughs> I don't know. But now you know. If somebody's losing his temper, you're saying fairly gone his dinger. <laughs> Apparently. And when somebody says, you're at your auntie's house, it means settle in. Get comfortable. Don't worry about nothing. And again, I've never heard my aunties actually say that and I'm at their house, so it made sense. <laughs> the win uh, is a small child. Is a win. It's not a yak. It's not a dog or a fucking cat. It's a win. It's a child. I don't know why we did it. Did I fucking give the answer away when I was talking about it? I don't know. Probably but Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it just means it's a small child. Uh, wins are very annoying. There's another sense. <laughs> it would be a wee cat or a wee dog. Ah, oh, they said dog as well. I forgot to read the explanations. Most eating all the cookies without having to be polite. Yeah, you, you don't have to be polite in your auntie's house when you're in Scotland. Man, you tell your auntie to fuck off, she's like, Oh, thanks, have a nice day, dear. You know, it's just how we are. <laughs> Kidding, man, he would probably smack me. And by smack. I mean, a fair old slap across the face. Kidding on if she done that. <laughs> she did another thing or two to answer to. My man be in there in a second. <laughs> Although not entirely impossible, it would be amazing and improbable to find a yak, big or small, playing in one's garden in Scotland. See, if I can say that, we don't even get them. I don't even know if I've seen one in a zoo or Blair Drummond. Blair Drummond's a safari park we have and obviously it's garbage because we live in Scotland and there's no such thing as wild tigers and lions in Scotland. It's just torture. I mean, think of this time of year. They're freezing their fucking furry arses off. What are we doing? Freezing our fucking furry arses off. Rant over, right guys? But hey, hemo demi means you're going nowhere. Home will do me. I said that. I told you that. So it means they're going nowhere, they're staying home. Yeah, he's on the he's on the ran he's away on the ran then. It means you're gonna get steaming. Nobody ever goes out. If you're in Scotland and somebody says to you, you might go out for a couple of drinks and they might mean literally a couple. And you might agree to that and be like, Yeah, we'll have a nice sociable nice night out. That is not what happens in Scotland. We don't know how to have a sociable night out. It's all out or just, no, I is go all out or go home, is that the saying, is that the phrase? Something along the lines of that, but basically, aye, if you're going out in Scotland, you're going out to get fucking rat assed. And that just means drunk. <laughs> Number eight, yeah, see, it means you're very thirsty. I just assumed, you know, because like, I'd imagine if I had a feather in my mouth, and then it would make you very dry. <laughs> and number ten. More degrees than a thermometer. What? What? I got that one wrong. I'm only 8 out of 10 Scottish. What? Apparently, if somebody says you have more degrees than a thermometer, you're very unpredictable. What the fuck does that mean? Like, I know what being unpredictable means. But, how does that mean that? It is a compliment, as it means you're considered very smart. Being un- be if somebody called me unpredictable, I wouldn't be like, thanks, I'm very smart, and uh That isn't what- no. Bollocks. How it is approximately pronounced in Scotland. He's got mere degrees. <laughs> goat. That is how we say goat, innit? <laughs> goat. 
He's got mad degrees. And see, we can't see. We just can't see. Oh, it just turns into an E. Like, meh. Nothing to do with I fever, stupidly or erratic. Stupidity or erratic behavior. As far as it's known. I got 120 points. I'm 120 points worth of Scottish, apparently. Who even knows what that means? I've finished my quiz. <laughs> I guess I'll just be showing a lot of Minecraft then. <laughs> but, yeah, I just, I hope you had fun watching it. Uh, I really do, I hope. I don't know if you're a massive fan of me, Ace of Space Gaming. Also, to clear up, I just call myself Thumbs, in case it's not clear, because I mess up a lot. And it's just, it's a name that's kind of been passed down. Like they called my granda thumbs because he was terrible with technology. It's kind of the same with my dad. I don't get called thumbs because I'm bad with technology. It's just because I'm bad with life. <laughs> but yes, I suppose it's something that we did cleared up, right? But again, I just I want to thank you for just being there. <laughs> for just being there for me. For anybody that takes time out of their day to comment or like my video to just even watch it 10,000 views at some point they take time to watch my video 10,000 times and to me that's a milestone that I would happily celebrate and I guess I'm just really grateful it's just I'm really thankful that again you take time out your day you watch my videos some of you take time to even comment on them and some of you take time to shit on them and I might get a bit defensive sometimes because honestly that's just how I am as a person. I get very defensive. I always have. But then I don't know. Some people deserve it man. Some people just can't go over that not everyone's the same. Talking to you that one person. Talking to you that one person that didn't like my Pokemon video. And then got offended when I started Totemi's comment was rubbish. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't care. I just... People need to stop shitting on things they don't like. It's like, I don't care if you don't like it. I really don't. Well, I do care, obviously. But I just mean... Ugh, it's really stupid. It's just gonna make me sound like an asshole. But I just mean... I do care what people think. Because obviously, it's the whole point in being a YouTuber. You know, you get feedback. You take it. But I'm not gonna lose sleep over because you don't like my opinions, you know? <laughs> kind of thing. That is what I mean, is all. But yeah, so again, I want to thank every single one of you that is taking time out your day to watch my videos, to just, to yeah, to just watch my videos. And I just, I can't thank you enough. As a small YouTuber, it means so much to just get, you know, that wee bit of, <laughs> no recognition, but you know what I mean? Like, to feel that what you're doing is worth it and to feel that you're not wasting your time and just to have th those wee comments every so often to s when someone says they like your video honestly it just it kinda it keeps you going it really does and if you know you know you know <laughs> if, if you know what I'm talking about then you know what I'm talking about but so I just again I wanna thank you it means a lot I do I'm no gain up anytime soon with YouTube I'm having so much fun I mean, sometimes it's annoying trying to think of what to do and what to play and it's just life. <laughs> but I enjoy doing it. I like to think I make people laugh, occasionally at least, because that's kind of why I wanted to do it. I mean, I'm not a comedian, but I like to think I at least make some people smile, because life is rubbish enough as it is, so... Especially this year. So I just like to think I might bring a wee bit of joy to people at least. And if I don't, then fuck you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I know. I'm sorry if I don't. <laughs> it's just, it's an automatic thing. I just swear. I'm sorry. I should also apologize for that too. I do swear a lot, but it's just in my nature. It's literally in the genes. <laughs> We're a sweaty nation. But, yeah, I am gonna leave it here. And again, I mean, I could thank you a thousand times and it wouldn't even be enough. But you know, if you if you take the time to watch my video, then take the time to subscribe. If you give me time, I genuinely think you might like me. If you give me a chance, you might like watching and hearing me talk a load of rubbish. 
But today you got we insight as to what I mean sometimes, and that's what we find in. But yeah, again, if you're taking this sweet, lovely time to watch videos and comment and just be all around a nice person, then I can't thank you enough. I hope, I hope you're having a good one. I hope you're staying really safe and clean, uh, because it's a really horrible year. Obviously, there's so much going on. And there's a lot of people not wearing masks. There's a lot of people not doing their bit. And now it's adapting and evolving. Woo! <laughs> but I know I've lost someone through it. I'm not going to get emotional about it. but And I know there's a lot of people that have lost people through it. So just for once, you know, if you're not wearing a mask, just do it. If you don't do it for yourself, then do it for those people that are actually losing people. We need to be better than this. But also... I'm sorry if this year isn't going to be a good year for you. I know there's a lot of people in really tough situations and they're not going to have the Christmas they might have wanted or just a good Christmas. People might not want to celebrate at all this year. So to those people, I'm sorry and I really hope things get better. I really do. You might not have a good Christmas this year but hopefully... 2021 brings something better for you. I really genuinely mean that. I hope, well, even if you've had a good year, I hope 2021 is better to you anyway. You know, I'm not going to just wish it for the people that have had a shit time. It's for everyone. I hope 2021 brings happiness to everyone. Or most people. <laughs> and I hope you can have the best Christmas you can have this year. It's a sticky situation. A lot of people are in different boats. But just know, there's always someone there to talk to. Okay? Just remember that, please. It's really important to know that. And I guess I'll leave it here. So, troops. I know this is a bit... It's kind of maybe been all the place. Because there's going to be this human full flight game. And then there's just going to be me um, putting some bits of Minecraft in there. <laughs> So I'm sorry, and but I hope you enjoyed the quiz. I hope you got some answers right yourself. I hope you played along. Let me know what you got. Let me know how many points you got. I think I got like what 120. So let me know what you got. It'd be fun to see if people played along. And I hope you enjoyed this wee video. Again, it was just to kind of say thank you for the views and any of the subs and all that. So that's kind of all this was about. I did in with just telling you some famous Scottish phrases, apparently. App apparently. Never heard of them my whole life, but they're famous. <laughs> but yeah, it was just to kind of have some fun on Christmas, because I'm not going to be... There's only going to be a couple of episodes, uh, a couple of videos with this week, because obviously it's Christmas, and I am fortunate enough to be able to have my family around me for it, thankfully. So I just want to spend it with them and play Manu games. No, I'm kidding. I hope, no matter where you are, or whatever situation you're on, I hope you're having a good one. As good a one as you can have. I just, I hope you're being smart and sensible this time of year. Any time of year. Again, let me know if you took part in the quiz. Let me know what you got in that. <laughs> what you got. That's funny. Because we don't pronounce O's, which I kind of never really 100% realised until today. But yes, have a good one, troops. And troops, until next time. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having a good time. Be safe, be careful, be clean, wash your hands. And until next time, troops. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed as well. Remember that one. Like the video. <laughs> but genuinely, have a good one. Until next time. Thumbs from Ace of Space Gaming wishes you a happy and Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, just happy holidays, whatever you celebrate, have a good time, en enjoy yourself as much as you can, and I might have a video before New Year, but if I don't, and if you don't watch it, then have a happy New Year, again, I hope 2021 brings you happiness and prosperity. I don't even know what that word means, but I hope it brings you good things. <laughs> Thumbs is out of here, people. Merry Christmas. Mm. Merry holidays. <laughs> Stop the presses.